Okay, so in this video, we'll be going over how to create summaries in FinStack 4.0. And later, we'll be going over how they work. So to begin creating your summary, the first thing you should do is navigate down to one of the equipment that you would like to create a summary for. Once you're in the right context, go ahead and open up the menu, click on the Summary Builder application, and select the new option. This will bring up a context sensitive wizard that will allow you to customize and create your summary. The first section allows you to type in a general name for your summary. The section below that allows you to select from a list of levels that you would like your summary to run on. This list is generated based upon the references that exist on your context equipment. In this particular scenario, the context VAV has an A2 ref and a floor ref. And as you can see, both of those options appear in the run on list. The next section allows you to select which points will be included in the summary. And the last and final section allows the users to type in a filter which will determine exactly which equipment will be represented in the summary or the summaries that are being created. And that's it, you're done. It literally took us less than a minute or two to create full on summaries that will run on the selected levels across our entire database. If you need to go back and edit or delete any of your existing summaries, all you need to do is click on the Summary Builder app, select the Summaries option, and then select the View All option. As you can see here, we have a VAV summary running on all the HUs and another VAV summary running on all the floors. Now that your summaries have been created, you can go ahead and view them by navigating down to any level in the architecture that has a summary running on it. Once you're on the level to which you'd like to view the summary on, you must then go into the Smart Menu and select the Summary Application. This will automatically switch you over to the Mini App and then display any summaries that might be running on this level. If you click on the summary's name, it will then open up the summary view and show you a list of all the equipment that are referencing that particular level and also match the filter that was set on that summary. In this view, you can command any point that has actions by clicking on the icon that has a lightning bolt on it. And you can also view that point's history as well. At the very bottom of the summary, you will get the average min, max, and total sum of the selected point across all the equipment. Here is an example of what the summary looks like when opened on a mobile device. At the top of the summary is a drop down that contains a list of points that were selected to be in the summary. You can switch the point being viewed by selecting any of the points from the drop down. Now one of the most powerful features uh, that's uh, available in the summary view is the ability to access the related bubbles for each point and each equipment within the summary. Uh, you can do this by pressing on the point icon, which will then bring up that particular point's related bubbles allowing you to quickly hop over and review any part of the data related to that point. If you press the button above the points icon, you will instead get the equipment related bubbles, which allows you to have even more navigational options, all from one single summary view. So not only do you get that summary view, but you also get a summary pop-up. You can access the pop-up version of your summary by clicking on the squared icon to the right of the summary's name. This will bring up a pop-up window styled version of the entire summary. This window can be minimized and maximized without ever having to close out the pop-up. On the top left corner, you have two different menus that contain a few helpful options all related to the summary. One of them allows you to compare any two columns in the summary against each other. When columns are being compared, they are both moved to the right of the summary pop-up and a new column is generated that displays a direct comparison of the two values. You also have the option of hiding and showing columns to help you focus in when needed. Now just like in the previous summary view, you can also command any point that is writable and has actions by clicking on the lightning icon for that point. If the point is overridden, the icon will turn purple to indicate that it's been manual. Furthermore, if you want to look at a particular point's data, all you have to do is click within the points section and FinStack will automatically bring up that point's related bubbles. 
And the best part about this is you can view that additional data without ever having to close the summary pop-up window. So as you can see, when I click on VAV1's room set point history bubble, it brings up the data on the far right smart menu while still being able to view the entire summary. This same concept works for the equipment too. If you click on any of the equipment buttons under the name column, Finstack will automatically bring up that specific equipment's related bubbles and allow me to load up whatever I want to see. So let's say I wanted to view VAV1's graphic, I could just click on the hyperlink bubble and minimize my summary while I checked it out. Okay, so another cool feature uh, about the summary pop-up is the ability to export the summary data as a CSV and save it onto your desktop. This can come in handy when you need to make a backup or if you need to capture a certain aspect of your summary. Okay, so one last thing about these summaries that are really helpful is that since they are running on tags, anytime a VAV is added, the summary will automatically pick it up and include it in the summary. So for example, let's say we're going to add three VAVs to our database. I'll go ahead and go to the DB Builder and use my duplicate feature just to duplicate my VAV three times. Now when I go back to my summary, you can see that all three of those VAVs were automatically added in the summary without me having to do any additional work. Okay, so ultimately making summaries in Finstack has never been easier. Within a minute or two, you can have several summaries completed that will run across your entire database and give you all the content that a summary typically requires. So that's basically all there is to creating summaries and viewing those summaries in FinStack 4.0. If you have any questions regarding the details discussed in this tutorial, please feel free to contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.